If your drill is giving you issues, you have absolutely nothing to lose by trying to open it up and diagnose the problem yourself. We'll be going through some of the basic steps in opening up any cordless drill. To disassemble a drill, we'll be using the following tools. Two magnetic part trays, needle nose pliers, magnetic pickup, and a multi-bit screwdriver. The first step in taking apart any drill is removing the power source. In this case, it's the battery. We'll take that and set it aside, and we'll start looking at disassembly. For this particular drill, we have a backing plate with the four screws. With most drills, it's pretty common to have the screw simply on the side to open up the entire case. We'll start with the backing, remove the four screws, and as we remove them, we'll put them in our parts tray in the order of which we took them out. At this point, we're going to take off the backing plate, set it aside. If we're dealing with brushes, this is where we'd be accessing those. To continue this assembly, we'll turn the drill over, access the remaining screws, and start removing them. Back off each screw, but don't leave them locked in. This allows me to check to make sure I've got no missing hidden screws I can't see, as well as prevents me from losing any particular parts. Now that I know the gap is open all the way around, we can then remove the screws fully, storing them in the parts tray, again in the order in which we remove them. When you can't get to the screw, which is too far in, either the needle nose pliers, you can grab the head and pull it out, or your magnetic pickup to remove the final screw. Once we have those screws available, we can try opening it up, and we'll discover quickly that we still have the remaining screws here. We'll take those out at the same time. These screws we'll put in a second parts tray so we don't mix them up with the original ones. At this point, we've removed all screws, with the only screw left being inside here to remove the chuck and the transmission. We're gonna leave the chuck on though for this. So now we can pull out the front. There's our mechanical. Pull out our side cover. Here's more mechanical and our gearing. And here's our motor and our switch ready for checking. Do any of your tools need a repair? Visit us at ereplacementparts.com and easily find the parts you need and have them shipped right to your door.